In high school, he finished his career as the third leading scorer all time for the Quincy High Blue Devils and went on to college fame as an All-American at SIU Edwardsville. But that was starting point, not peak, for Chris Camacho. In his vocational life, he has been a dynamic force for development in one of the nation's fastest growing cities as the president and CEO of the Greater Phoenix Economic Council. Tri-State Triumphs, sponsored by Good Samaritan Home of Quincy. Uh, when I was in graduate school studying public policy and tax analysis, which most would say is a snoozer master's degree, but uh, I learned a lot about how communities work, how taxes work. I won't bore you with all those details, but I was fortunate enough to work for uh, a leader in the St. Louis region uh, where SIU is and uh, found that uh, I, I was compelled to do this kind of work for the community. And so after graduating uh, with a graduate degree in public policy and tax analysis, I decided uh, with my then girlfriend to, uh, to head out west. And that was uh, 20 years ago and almost 20 years ago. And I was the CEO for a, uh, an economic development organization back in 2000, about six, maybe five to six and uh, then moved into the Phoenix market uh, in 2008. So yeah, we've seen just uh, massive growth in our region out west and I still make it back to my hometown uh, every so often, see my, my parents and my sister and, and the whole family. So it's great to, uh, great to see you today. To some degree, I think we're all salesmen and you're selling Lydia Phoenix, something you've done to the tune of almost 75,000 jobs and $11 billion from the companies that you've helped lure there. You have to love where you live to be effective salesmen. What about Phoenix? And, and, and I guess you prior to that really kind of vibed with a Quincy guy. Yeah, you're kind of like asking me for the sales pitch, right? So, you know, <laughs> Phoenix, Greater Phoenix is an incredible market. It's, it is the fastest growing region in the United States. And so you know, my team and I on the front lines, I mean, we get out in everywhere from, we just had a big project out of Taiwan uh, that's going to build a multi-billion dollar fab uh, in the Metro Phoenix region. And so we're very fortunate to be able to, to be in a top five U.S. market. Uh, but again, I, I think a lot of uh, arguably, I'd say some of my success has been attributed to kind of how I was raised and the community I was raised, the school I was exposed to, and fundamentals of even sports, I think, have had, uh, you know, a lasting effect on me. I think about even running a team, we have 30 people on staff, and uh, everyone is, is gelled much like a family, much like the Blue Devil soccer team in the late 80s, or late uh, 1990s. So, you know, those are things that you just never forget, and I still... Uh, to this day, I had a Zoom call last week with Sean McLaughlin and Casey Stevens and, and uh, Shane Kenny. So, I mean, we still actually talk about life. Uh, and I will tell you, Chris, we do go back to some of the games that we won or some of the games that we lost and, you know, have, have frustrating moments about those times, uh, thinking that we should have been, you know, state champions back then. And we've got a treasure trove of more goodness coming up tonight with Chris Camacho as Tri-State Triumphs continues on Sports Final. Amber, we'll see you then.